class class. We're going to continue our Noah story about this man in the Bible who was a good example of that fruit of the Spirit, patience. And I thought you might want to open your blue Bible and read along with me. Page 24 has the Noah story in it, and you'll see some places in here where Noah was very patient. The flood and the rainbow. After Adam and Eve left the Garden of Eden, they had many children, and their children had children, and so it went on for hundreds of years. There came a time when people of the earth did not know about God, but God could see them. He did not like what he saw. The people were selfish and evil. They fought and did bad things to one another. God was sorry he had ever made men and women to live on the earth. Now he would put an end to all people. But God wanted to save Noah because he was a good man. God came to Noah and spoke to him. I am going to flood the earth and destroy every living thing on it, he said. But I want you to build a great ark for yourself and your family. Bring into the ark two of every animal, the smallest and the largest, animals that fly and those that walk and crawl on the ground. Ark. The ark is a large box of a boat created to float not sail. It was huge, three stories high and the length of one and a half football fields. Noah built the ark from wood. He made it large enough to hold all the animals and enough food to feed everyone. When the ark was ready, the animals came in two by two. At last, Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives went into the ark. The clouds came and the rain started to fall. It rained and rained. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. The earth was flooded and every living thing was destroyed. But Noah's ark was well built and floated on the waters. Inside it was dry and warm. At last, it stopped raining and God remembered Noah. He sent a great wind and the water began to go down. After many days, Noah sent out a dove. When the dove flew back the second time, it held in its beak a leaf from an olive tree. Noah knew that the flood waters were going away. He waited seven more days and sent out the dove again. This time the dove did not come back. Noah knew that the dove had found dry land to live on. So he opened the ark and let out all the animals. Then God made a promise to Noah. I will never again use a flood to destroy life on earth. Life will go on because of you and your family and the animals you took on the ark. Then a rainbow appeared in the sky. Look at the rainbow, God said to Noah. It is a sign of the promise I have made to you. I'm sure thankful that Noah was patient and I'm thankful that God is patient. Today, I would like you to show me that four star coloring when you color this picture that reminds us about Noah and that ark and being patient. Be glad for all God is planning for you. Be patient in trouble and always be prayerful. Romans 12, 12. Show me your best work. 